from budgetequestrian.com and can you hear my voice echoing echo echo it's because there is nothing in my tack room it is completely empty except for the little piece of floor that you can't see because it's in front of the camera but this is the second part of my tack room makeover today I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do as far as I'm going to finish putting in some flooring which is really cheap that I found flooring tiles for like $20 and I'm also going to hang up all of the neat little tap room projects that I worked out, have been working on. I'm going to hang those all up on the walls and we'll show you what everything looks like at the end of this video. So the first thing I had to do was finish sweeping the floor because I needed to make sure that my peel and stick tile was going to stick to the floor. And even though it was cold, it actually worked pretty well. Actually, it was easier to lay with the tile being cold versus if it's hot because the backing actually came off really easy. And like I said in the beginning of this video, this was for one box of floor tiles and it finished the back half of my tack room. The front part of it, I had some leftover like vinyl plank flooring that looks like wood floor, but it's vinyl flooring. That's what is in the front of the tack room and that was from another project. So the flooring doesn't match, but it's all nice and covered and that was the main thing that I cared about. And once the flooring was all in, all I had to do was clean up my mess and then it was time to bring in the furniture for the tack room. Okay everyone, the floor part is done. And yes, it may not be 100% perfect, but that's okay. This is just for the tack room and it was $20 for a box of peel and stick tile and I think it looks kind of cool so now I'm going to put the stuff on the walls try and figure out how that's going to be done it's going to be interesting so the first piece I brought in was a shelving unit that we were no longer using in the house and then I had to figure out where I was going to hang up my saddle pad rack and I decided on the back wall since it, it won't take up much space and it won't be in the way on the back wall. And if you're curious of how I made this, I actually have a video showing how to make this. Just go back through all of my videos or you can even just type in how to make a saddle pad rack and I promise my video will show up. The next thing I decided to hang up was my saddle rack and again I made a video of this as well. I wanted a wall hanging saddle rack because it takes up less space than my saddle stands would. So I just hung the 2x4 up and then I can hang up my little saddle stands. And this was probably one of my favorite projects that I made. This is a bridle rack. It's a really heavy duty bridle rack that I made with landscaping timbers and two by six lumber that were actually scrap. I made three of these and they pretty much took up the whole wall, which is awesome. I don't have enough bridles that will fill all of those bridle racks, but it looks really cool and I will have lots of extra hooks for basically anything I need. And I utilized the space on the small side by the door just to hang up a whip hanger. I have lots of different riding crops and whips and stuff so I want to have a place for those as well. 
And then I got to bring in my tack trunk. This is where the tack trunk is gonna live. I'm so excited, it's finally out in the barn. And once I figured out where the tack trunk was gonna go, then I could determine where I was going to hang my medicine cabinet. And like I said before, I wasn't sure that I was gonna keep this, but it's a really useful piece of equipment, furniture, whatever you wanna call it, to have in the tack room, because you can put different first aid stuff in here, and it's just, it was really handy, and I just couldn't throw it out. So it went back up in the tack room. And then just lots of hooks, lots of random hooks for lots of random horse stuff that will be hung on those hooks, I'm sure. And the last item that I had to hang back up were my horse's boot racks. And this is where I hang up their Velcro like boots. All right, everyone. So we have hung up all of the bridle racks brought in a big shelving unit to put things on. I did recycle my saddle pad rack because I really do like it and I think it'll be useful still. So that is over in the corner. And there is my saddle rack, which is really cool because those little green covered pieces actually fold down. So if I need more space or if I don't have my saddles in here, then I can fold it down. There's tons of hooks on the wall, so I'll be able to utilize those, I'm sure, with girths and just random stuff, my helmets. That's the medicine cabinet that, again, I wasn't going to put back up, but I decided it really is useful, so that is back in here. And, of course, my tap trunk, which right now has everything in it. Ugh. That I'll show you it has everything in it, including my boots, pretty much everything. So this shows you that this tack trunk, aka Husky Toolbox, really holds a lot of stuff. And this is where it's going to live until we go to a horse show. So I'm very happy that it's out here. Well. That's it for today. We totally put up all of the furniture in the tack room and now all I gotta do is put everything in it. So that's what the next video is going to be about. So make sure you come back to see how I'm actually able to utilize my tack room and how I reconfigured it. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and sometimes on Saturdays. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.